So, we're gonna begin with latex paste, and that's kind of expensive to buy, so we're gonna create our own. So, pour up a bowl of latex, and add a little flour. Mix it properly, and you have great working latex paste. Some nice sheet of uh, tinfoil to protect the table, and then smear it out. And your Freddy can look any way you like, so just make the patterns you want. Get the right texture. Then we dry it with a blow dryer and uh, the great thing about having it on tin foil is we can flip it over and dry it even easier since it's kind of thick latex paste so we want to dry it properly. And when it's dry both ways we uh, add flour and begin to remove it. And make sure you add flour along the way as you pull the latex, otherwise it will stick to itself. Ellie made four or five sheets like this to have enough latex to cover her whole face. When you've gotten all the pieces off, we can move to the mirror and apply. This shout goes to Glampira or Glampira, how you want to pronounce it. Anyway, she's awesome, you have to check her stuff out. Amazing! Now it turns into a puzzle. Find the pieces that suit your face and uh, cut them up. Then we put the bald cap on. This time we leave the braid out. Cut the ball cap up and pull out your ears and apply the whole thing with latex or skin adhesive. Make sure you go over the edges as well. And protect the eyebrows. Alright, so let's get to our latex pieces and we uh, mix and match and cut and uh, yeah, get them to suit your face. Then smear on some latex or skin adhesive and apply it to your face. It's a pretty straightforward process and here you can see that Ellie has these uh, curved uh, texture shapes on her latex pieces. That looks pretty cool when it runs all over your face. My whole face is covered. In Swedish is hela mitt ansikte täckt. And when you've slapped on all the pieces, let's head over to red paint and the eyes. All the hollow areas we fill with the red as well. And the rest of it we go over with a skin tone. And hey, we're at 240,000 subscribers when this is recorded. Uh, do you think we can reach 300,000 by the end of Halloween? Give us a hand, let's do it! Next up, some detail work with a dark brown color. And we begin with the eyes. And in all the hollow areas, we darken down as well. Give it that extra depth. Not necessarily the whole area, just along the edges. I know a lot of you said we shouldn't do this makeup because it's been done like two million times already, but we still hope you learned something new with this method. And to bring down the contrast between the red areas and the skin colored areas, we go for a mix of skin color and red turning it kind of pinkish and blend down the contrast. And Ellie blends along the edges. See the color turns a lot smoother. Yeah, 
dry up your teeth and add some tooth enamel. We're using a nicotine color on both upper and lower teeth. And you are ready! However, we have no real idea where you're going to get your hands on a shirt like this, a hat like this and a scary hand. But at least you have the face, so improvise. I'm sure some costume store have them. Anyway, you can actually reuse this if you like. Just take your time removing it and uh, it's good to use again, with very little effort. And all you cosplayers out there, if you have any cool ways to create the Freddy Krueger hand with the knives on, hey, share your ideas and thoughts in the comments below. And we know this video will get old, but we just want to say there are fun things coming. One word, collabs. More television and movie related makeups you will find here and subscribe. <laughs>